Hey there, collectives, and welcome back for a general love reading. This love reading is going to be for the Divine Feminine. I have not did her reading in a while. Please keep in mind that these are general love readings, so they're not going to resonate for everybody. So only take the part that fits and disregard the rest. Please like, share, and subscribe to the channel if this message resonates with you. Thank you so much, and let's see what messages we have for Divine Feminine. So we got the Ace of, Eight of Swords here. Eight of Swords, Five of Cups, the world, and the magician card here. So someone may have felt stuck. Somebody may feel stuck here. But I feel like Nine of Swords, Queen of Wands. Somebody feels manipulated emotionally here. But I feel like the Divine Feminine is going to come out on top anyway because the Divine Feminine knows that she can manifest whatever she desires here and she's never really stuck. You know, sometimes you feel stuck because a situation is still very presently affecting you mentally, emotionally. But it's almost like Divine Feminine is saying that she's not going to give this situation anymore. I feel like for a while, Divine Feminists could be, for some, whoever this is for is a general, could have been struggling with trying to really close out the cycle with their Divine Masculine here. And I feel like maybe the Divine Feminine, for whoever this is for, may have been kind of low-key hoping that things probably would turn around and work out in their favor here. But I also feel like the Divine Feminine is coming to the realization and standing in their power and taking back uh, control over their lives so that they can have a better outcome. So I do feel like the divine feminine has been affected by her union with her masculine, but I also feel like divine feminine is not going to let it stop her. I feel like eventually and like when you're really in those connections here, it's not that easy to let go. Yes, you can walk away from it physically, but it still affects you mentally, emotionally, physically, sometimes even financially. So we wish we could, you know, immediately get over the hard times, but that's all a part of the lessons um, in this human experience here. So um, you could be a Pisces here. You could be a Libra, Gemini, and Aquarius. You could be a Leo, Sagittarius, or Aries. Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces here. I see the star card. Why is the Eight of Swords here for the Divine Feminine? Clarify the Eight of Swords. Why is the Eight of Swords here? Six of Wands. So paying attention to something, recognizing here, being uh, getting the attention, rising above. I feel like the divine feminine is going to be very, very successful. And I feel like, the, see, you got the sun card, see? See, yeah, I feel like divine feminine, really, it really was affecting divine feminine here. But I feel like with this magician card and this queen of wands, there's nothing stopping divine feminine. Because divine feminine, I feel like it's taking... Um, Really not attached emotionally. See there, look, look what it made. See, Ten of Pentacles. They call it Ten of Pentacles. Again, the Ten of Pentacles keeps coming out. All right, why is this Five of Cups here for feminine, for our divine feminine here? Could be a Leo. Ten of Pentacles this could have been a long term. Divine feminine could have been really stuck on the fact that maybe they felt like they wanted it all with this person. Ten of Pentacles, they want it all. Of course they do. Y'all check out the Scorpios video. Happy birthday to Scorpios because I saw the Emperor and the Empress in, in their reading too. Even though I don't see the Empress, but this is a divine feminine. But Scorpio had Emperor and Empress in there. So you could be one of the, you could be a Scorpio. But like I say, divine feminine is waiting on this because this is what divine feminine deserves. The Ten of Pentacles lifestyle because the Empress is abundant. But I feel like the divine feminine got tired of waiting. Physically, you, she, divine feminine may have not had a choice. She had to move on. 
So there's five of cups here. I feel like divine feminine is is no longer. It seems like the divine feminine energy I'm picking up with this queen of wands. I feel like for some of y'all divine feminines, y'all just don't give a fuck no more. Okay, it, it is what it is. Okay, it's almost like you saying, okay, you know, I didn't get it with this one here, but that's all right. I still can get it because you got the freaking magician with the ten of pentacles and the queen of wands. So yeah, it seems like this, these divine feminines, the energy that I'm picking up, they fed up with that dumb shit and they ain't gonna wait on it. Okay, because they ain't got to especially as a freaking queen of wands, because a queen of wands can go strut her stuff, especially with the queen of wands attached to a magician energy. All right? So, yeah, you ain't got no weak divine feminines over here. You got a, a divine feminine who knows what she wants. She knows she can get out there and she can get it without a toxic karmic divine masculine uh, trying to slow her down. And this is what I feel like. I feel like somebody's saying they ain't, they ain't doing no more tears. See? Ace of wands, see the hermit card. Five of Cups in the reverse. I feel like somebody here had to do a lot of soul searching, a lot of introspecting in order to build the courage and the confidence and the stamina and the passion to move forward. Somebody tapped into their power with this magician card. And now I feel like there's no stopping them. So you got the world in the reverse. Why is the world in the reverse here for the divine feminine? Page of Wands, some type of good news coming, some type of adventure, excitement. Now, I feel like I feel like as soon as the Divine Feminine wrap up this cycle, I feel like there's other new opportunities that's awaiting this feminine, but I feel like I feel like things were on a hold for a little while because I feel like Divine Feminine mind really wasn't there. They had to free themselves. But as soon as so so some of these feminines could have been resisting this change. But I feel like they had no choice. See? Ooh. So this may be your emperor. Now look at the this is divine feminine. So see, your emperor showed up. So your emperor does not want this to go. So your emperor is avoiding change because you got the world card in the reverse. So your emperor is the one that's avoiding change. But at the same time, I feel like your emperor is going to try to reach out to you. Or maybe your emperor is, is avoiding change because they need to grow up with this page of wands. Wow. So your emperor is showing up. Ooh, I heard that. Mm. What else for this world card in the reverse? One more card. Mm. Now this could very well be your beat. See, and they go to two of wands here. See, two of wands and the devil. See, see there. So with this emperor showing up in the upright, it's somebody here walking around here delusional then. This is somebody here who's fooling themselves here. This is somebody here who... This is somebody out here who can't make up their mind about... This could be a divine mask and they got some type of addiction, some type of unhealthy... Um, it could be their... They could be narcissistical. Especially with the emperor in the upright, this is somebody here who don't think that they wrong. They feel like they can do whatever they want to do and they are okay and can't nobody judge them. Ain't that some shit? Because this, these divine masculines don't want to change. For some, for some of them, they ain't everybody. But they need to change. That's why they met their feminine. Ooh, so let's check out this nine of swords in the reverse. Why is this here? Libra, Gemini, and Aquarius. Why is this nine of swords here? Nine of Swords. Why is this Nine of Swords here? I feel like Divine Feminine is saying that I'm not going to have another sleepless night. I'm not going to sit up here <sighs> worried about what they doing, what they ain't going to do. Is they coming over here? Who they with? Oh, my goodness here. See, I feel like Divine Feminine, see? King of Swords. So now, if, if, if either this is your masculine or this is the divine feminine, but I don't feel like this is you because I feel like this is divine feminine's queen of wands. I feel like it's this your person. I feel like your divine masculine is trying to act like they're unbothered. And this really could be a cold person here. I feel like this is somebody here who's trying to act like they're not bothered, but they really, really are. 
but they they so used to running game they so used to doing things out of order it comes natural for them to be manipulating it comes natural for them to avoid real stuff it seems like it comes natural for them to act like they don't care when they probably really do but since they done lost control over the situation they're gonna make it worse Oh, and there go the sun card again. So maybe your divine masculine is being illuminated. Maybe they're being uh, enlightened because you got the nine of swords up here with the six of wands. Maybe this is them with the sun card and the ten of pentacles. Maybe your divine masculine is starting to look at the divine feminine like they want something real. So I feel like this divine masculine not sleeping good at night. See, because there go the freaking wheel of fortune in the reverse and the three of pentacles. See? So this divine masculine feel like they are going through hell. They can't sleep. They're trying. Oof. I feel like something's going to turn around for this divine masculine unless spirit is dealing with this one here. Oh, that, yeah, that's what it is. Judgment. See? They go to judgment card. See? That's judgment right there. I told you. See? Oh, that was Scorpio's reading. See? Judgment. This is why this... Wow, it's almost like your divine masculine's taking over this reading, but I know that this is the feminine here. Whatever your divine masculine, it's like these masculines are just going through it here because they, they're resentful, they're proud, they're arrogant, they think that they're untouchable and unstoppable, but they don't understand that they have to follow certain rules too. Especially when you're planting seeds, when you're doing things uh, unjust to people, it's going to come back. They could also be... a. Uh, uh, because you got the Ten of Pentacles in the upright, but you got the Five of Pentacles. See, you got the judgment here. Could be that they're being tested in their finances here. Why is the Five of Pentacles here? Maybe they, maybe the Spirit is telling this person they need to make it right with you. Because I did see that Ace of Pentacles, but I also seen it in the uh, reverse. All right, why is the Five of Pentacles here in the reverse for the Divine Feminine? Because this is the Divine Feminine reading. What about the Five of Pentacles? Five of Pentacles. I see the Seven of Pentacles. And look, they go to Queen of Swords. Oh, see? Because they're divine, because the divine feminine is blocking this connection. They got the King and the Queen of Swords. So, like I said, I knew that the feminine was no longer tripping about the masculine because you got this Queen of Wands here. So, see, the divine feminine probably was loving and wanting to be with this person. Now, this divine feminine is giving them the same energy they gave them. And I feel like they're turning their back on this person. See, most of these divine feminines are turning their back on these masculines. They like, these feminines say that they're not going down with these masculines or what they're saying. They say, if you don't want to act right, okay, no problem. But I ain't going down with your ship. I can just manifest the life that I deserve then. See? See, they're not, now the divine feminines in the... Queen of Swords with her back turned towards the Divine Masculine because they were detached and heartless. What else for this Five of Pentacles in the reverse for Divine Feminine? Oof. Too many cards. Five of Pentacles in the reverse, please. be dealing with the Libra, Gemini, and Aquarius, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. Five of Pentacles in the reverse. Strength card, Leo energy. So, so, so this divine feminine ain't playing here. She's resisting. She's standing strong. She's standing boldly. She know her worth and she know that whatever this divine masculine was giving her was not good enough and she refuses to hang around any longer. Meanwhile, the divine masculine spirit is dealing with them. Spirit is dealing with these masculines, but I feel like it's not going to be easy to get back in because I feel like these divine feminines have had it. All right, the page of cups in the reverse. Somebody could have been, somebody could have had a false claim that somebody had a child. These masculines could be out here getting babies. They could be trying to hide that they don't out here and, and you know, father children out here because of their lifestyle. What's up with this page of cups in the reverse? Somebody could have been trying to trap, put babies on these masks because they have been out there. See, they go to uh, Page of Pentacles. You got the Page of Cups in reverse, and now you got the Page of Pentacles in the upright. 
Mm, mm, mm. And they go to Ace of Cups in the reverse. See? Like I said, I feel like somebody been trying to somebody tried to put a baby on there. You got the star card. For some of y'all feminists, you may have found out that your mask and went out there and had a baby by somebody. Got somebody pregnant here. Or, you know, it's kind of like those things where you never would have knew that your masking was messing with a chick had not they came out saying that they was pregnant by the masculine only to find out that the child really wasn't theirs. You know what I'm saying? And so the masculine would probably try to say something like, well, yeah, but at least the baby ain't mine. You know, let's start over. Yeah, but you you, you was there, you know. See, now, now if she wouldn't have got pregnant, then you probably wouldn't have got caught. But to add insult, which is good for you, I guess, that the baby ain't yours, but you still was over there, you know. It's almost like one of those things. Somebody finding out that either the child wasn't there, so they feel like they dodged it, but at the same time, it got exposed. Oof. What else for this page of cups in the reverse? This could be why they're experiencing money to a loss with this five of pentacles because this five of pentacles in the reverse and the seven of pentacles could represent that they're going to have to constantly plant seeds and keep on paying out. So their money is going to significantly decrease. You see that? Because you got the ten of pentacles. So it could very well be that your masculine, the only thing they were worried about is their money just to be tested and tried with it. Oh my gosh. One more card for this page of Pentacles. I see a lot, y'all. Oof. Ace of Pentacles, see? <laughs> that Ace of Pentacles, see? Somebody, somebody's secret came out. They go to Moon card in the reverse, see? There it is. Somebody's secret came out. And I feel like, I feel like it's just kind of like one of those, what would you call it? Catch 22s, is that it? It's the irony of it, like I said, it's almost like it probably wouldn't have came out had not somebody came and started saying that somebody got pregnant. And then I feel like the, the masculine being that they ain't ready, they really ain't about too much anyway because they need to do some shadow work. It's almost like the, you know, the fun time is over. It's almost like they probably detached themselves from that person. And now here this person is. And then the mask and probably like, that ain't my baby. And then she having to prove that it is and come to find out it's not. And you could have found out about it. But you probably like, well, <laughs> you know, he probably like, woof, you know, you know, ooh, thank God, you know. But at the same time, the damage already done. And sometimes that's the type of damage that's so done is damaged beyond repair. With the moon card in the moon moon in the reverse, something came out for somebody about a child, but it's not gonna be their child. But it's just a point that they were there. All right. So now you have the magician and the queen of wands for the uh, empress, divine feminine. What's up with this magician for divine feminine? Mm. King of wands here. See. Oh, now you could be having somebody, somebody could be trying to uh, work, get close to, I wonder, is this your masculine here? Or is this a new person? Because you got the queen of wands. So it seems like for some of you divine feminines, y'all manifesting y'all somebody else here, a, a twin flame. Y'all leaving this divine masculine. Y'all going to a twin flame here because you got the king and the queen of wands. Look, and they go to eight of pentacles. For some of y'all, you, oh, maybe somebody paying somebody. Oh, no, please don't be that. Eight of Pentacles, somebody working on something now. Somebody may be using love spells against this divine feminine right now, too. You see that the magician card, Claire found the magician. You got the King of Wands and the Eight of Pentacles. And the King of Wands is doing it to the Queen of Wands. Ooh. Because you do got the Ace of Wands here. Could be a new person. Or could be the could be your divine masculine. Your divine masculine could actually be doing love spells on you or paying money. What's up with this magician for Divine Feminine? Oh, snap. Because they're in love. Five of Cups, Queen of Cups. Because somebody wants you to fall in love with them because they regret losing you. See there? Oh, my goodness. Somebody's Divine Masculine is working love spells on them because they regret losing them and because Divine Feminine ain't chasing after them no more and they trying to do love spells to make Divine Feminine fall back in love with them. But I feel like it's too late. Oh, that's what I see, y'all. Because they really are regretting. These masculines are regretting losing these feminines. But 
They can't, but they know that if they don't manipulate them, they're not going to be able to control them. So these divine masculines are not going to feel, see, 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 there they go again. You see it, it popped out, the king of wands. Look, see that? Ooh, see that? I told you. And there go the lover's card. See? This person trying to make sure you in love with them so you'll always be available to them. Ooh, see there? See there, y'all, that's why your divine masculine took over your reading is because they behind the scenes doing stuff they ain't got no business doing because I feel like you probably went on and you probably got as cocky as they are and they can't hang, handle it because of their ego here. Mm. All right, what's up with this queen of wands for the divine feminine? Clarify the queen of wands. See there, ooh. So it's almost like this person that they're, they're waking up. What is that? Ace of Swords. Spirit say that's the truth. See, there's uh, we on Queen of Wands. Ace of Swords. Some type of truth is uh, see this Queen of Wands is is no longer emotionally attached to this person here because this imp this see this uh I feel like this is the empress. She know all about her masculine, the Seven of Swords. See. That's why she don't care no more. That's why she ain't in her feelings, okay? This is why somebody's mask is behind the scenes trying to work magic to get you back in your feelings here. See? Then I tell you, they go to moon card. See, that empress is that, that empress is connected here. She ain't no dummy. She just an outsmarted her masculine. That's all. And they all behind the scenes trying to conjure up some shit to keep her stuck. She already two steps ahead of him with that ace of swords. See, Ooh. <laughs> see, look, they got a magician card. God dang, see, she could be doing it back. <laughs> see, I feel like, I feel like, oh, wow. The divine feminine is 10 steps ahead of her masculine any day. Yeah, the divine masculine is throwing spell work to the divine feminine, but guess what? The divine feminine protected anyway. Look at that magician card. She know all about your secrets. Because the universe has already shown her. That's why she's the divine. It's almost like whatever you're doing behind the scenes is not going to work. It's not going to work. Cause it's almost like whoever you got on your side, the divine feminine got a more powerful person on their side. Because you try to manipulate somebody. And it's almost like she already know what you're doing here. See? She know that, that, that you're not, that, that you're karmic in nature. That you're, you're, you're for the streets. So this is why she don't care. And see, and this is why... Divine feminine is holding back. See? Wow. That's what it is, y'all. And I ain't finna pull no more because I know that's what it is with them. See? Divine feminine got tired of being in third party situation. She know that her masculine was not being honest. Seven of Swords, Moon card, Knight of Wands in the reverse because Spirit gave her truth and clarity. And as a result, she using her own power with the magician card and she's holding back. And this is why, see, you know what? In closing, what it's showing here is some of these masculines are so freaking vindictive. They do not like to lose. They do not like it that you're not their dummy because they're deceiving themselves because they're the ones that need to do the shadow work and the heal. But it seems like most of these masculines really are tapping into magic now because they... They don't feel comfortable in a situation because they're easily intimidated because the games they used to play, women are not messed up about it now. They can move on by their life and find somebody else or just be alone before they go through what you putting them through. See, there they go. See, see there? Told you they heard. See, pull the next card and it's your emperor. See? There they go right there, but they in they feel that this is what they're causing. They're the ones that's causing, causing heartbreak. And when the feminine decided she didn't want to be a part of it no more, her masculine started trying to use spell work on her. See? King of Pentacles, they probably having financial problems now because it's part of their karma look. But the divine feminine is going to rise. You remember the empress is abundant. You see the difference? I told you the empress, was, the feminine was supposed to balance out her masculine, but these masculines, they too into themselves. See? Ten of swords, and that's why ultimately... Divine Feminine ended with the, her Divine Master because I feel like Divine Feminine is a little bit more stronger. She can restrain herself. 
She got a little bit more power. She got a lot more power. And she ain't for the streets. She's real. But these masculines are vindictive. Not all of them, so don't come for me because it's a general. Most of these masculines are vindictive. They want to have multiple partners and they want to string you along too. And when you decide to walk away, they can't handle it. So this is what I see. I see these masculines trying to use spell work to try to make these feminists be in love with them so that they can have them and string them along like everybody else. But the divine feminines know when to walk away and stand in their power. And I feel like this divine masculine met they match whatever they were doing behind the scenes. God dang it. In this magician and the king of wands and this eight of pentacles. Uh-huh. I tell you, the divine feminine got it going on too with this queen of wands and the ace of swords because she got the ace of swords. So therefore, no weapon formed against divine feminine shall prosper because she's already protected. All right, you guys, this is your divine feminine love reading. Y'all seem like your masculine took over or, or maybe the universe just wants you to know what these masculines really are here doing. I mean, they're really in this devil energy. They're really thinking that they can have multiple partners here and still force you to be strung along too. But what they're finding out is that they have no power over you because they don't even have power over themselves here, okay? Okay, you guys, please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Bye.